for it TV. The world is thinking. In my previous life, I was an expert on the on the Great Depression, and you know one of the things that, as you know, as bad as this recession has been, one of the things that I've felt maybe my sort of my the historian in me has felt compelled to say is. It was much worse in the 1930s. So, you know, today, obviously, we've got, oh, what was it, 9.4% of our population is unemployed. That is horrible, completely unacceptable. But if you go back to 1932, it was 25%. So it does, um, as bad as things are, things were much worse in the 1930s. And, you know, one of the things that I will say is, you know, in terms of what's hit the economy, the kinds of shocks, what we've seen in our financial markets, the meltdown that we saw in our financial system back last October and November, um, it is to a large degree the reason we are not in the Great Depression is because of the policies that have been taken. I think uh, some of what the Federal Reserve has done, I think Ben Bernanke has been unbelievably uh, forceful and creative in trying to come up with mechanisms when the commercial paper market wasn't working. He said, we'll find the Fed will buy it. When this market wasn't working, we'll find the Fed will step in. And I think it's been uh, incredibly helpful. I think the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act that's just now sort of ramping up, I think is gonna be absolutely crucial uh, and helping us to turn the corner. So I think, you know, one of the things I'd point is I think we have had substantially better policy than in the 1930s, and I think it is why uh, we are gonna pull out of this thing um, before it ever gets uh, as bad as the 1930s.